Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects CC 2018 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to relight footage or brighten footage or darken it if you want to uh, using the lighting options inside Adobe After Effects CC. It's not very, very hard, but there's a couple little pieces that you might not get right the first time just because it doesn't really make a lot of sense. So let me just get right into this. I've pre-selected some footage that I downloaded from Video Pixels. This is all free footage, so if you want to work along with me or you got your own footage, go nuts. Add anything in. Let's create a new composition from this. So here we go. I'm going to right-click on this, New Comp from Selection, and presto, we've got this composition. I'll just hit Spacebar so you can see it. And it's a cool picture of some meteors or outer space or something cool like that. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to actually fit it to 100% just so you guys can see here what I'm working with. Now, the next step, and this is the step that a lot of people make a mistake in, is you generally want to go layer, new light, and let's create a light, and here it is. Uh, just so you guys know, I'm going to create an ambient light because I want the light to, to, to go across the entire screen, and the intensity will be 150%. The color is, sure, we're going to make a white light, and none of that other stuff really matters too much, and hit OK. And here's the thing, it doesn't do anything. I turn it on, I turn it off, the light does nothing. Here's how you make the change. What you need to do is you need to make this a 3D layer. In particular, the underlying layer with the footage, whether it's a whether it's video or an image, if you click on this little box, 3D layer, click here, now watch. The lights come on. <laughs> and on the seventh day, let there be light. No, wait, that's the wrong day. Um, but no, joking aside, that's how you go ahead and make light now or, or increase the light. Now, here's a couple things. You can, of course, choose from the four different styles of light. So if you want parallel, you can work with parallel. Parallel allows you to sort of move the light in 3D space. Um, it's a little more complex, but it does work. It works good. Spot, it creates, well, creates a spotlight. Also, you can move in 3D space. Let me just show you how that might work. So I can move the light down here or I can move the light up higher, and then maybe I want the light to go right or left. It is an excellent effect, and it also allows you to do like uh, selective reveals and stuff like that, or animated reveals even for that matter. But, uh, well, yeah, animation takes a little bit more work, but um, that you can use the spot point, also very, very good. Uh, the thing with point, though, is if you go ahead under the Z-axis, Let's just see here. You can move this, and you'll see that as I get closer to it, it's pretty much a point. It's like holding a flashlight up against the screen. And then as you move back, like I am doing now, it slowly begins to illuminate everything until you're really far out, and then it doesn't make much of a difference. But just keep that in mind that it is a very cool effect. And, of course, the last one is ambient, which affects the entire screen. Now, for those of you that are doing a lot of, like, either, you know, color grading or you're doing some post-production and you know the guys or the gals out there filming didn't have quite enough light this is one way to really add light and make it really really cool last thing i will show you is the intensity of course and this is the first thing you probably go to but as you you know obviously increase the intensity boom the light goes up or the lights go off so keep that in mind too so i'm going to increase it quite a bit and then you know compare that with the original the original was a little bit dark but it's quite nice and then relit. It's really, really bright. In fact, it's probably too bright. The whites are blown out. Um, the last thing I will show you guys is sometimes, depending on your particular film or the type of footage you're looking for, you might want to add in a cast or a color to your light. Now, bright white is very, very common, especially in like LED style productions with LED lights. But maybe you want to go with like the old school day glow, you know, old style uh, lighting, which was a little bit yellower. Uh, and let's see, you know, something like, let's say with something like that, yellow, yellow, whitish, you've got a different color, you got a different light. And again, you can go in there and change that up as you see fit. And lastly, of course, you can do really cool things. Like if you're in a horror movie and you want it to be like dark blue lit, boom, you've got crazy blue light there. And then of course, change it as you see fit. But that is how you relight inside Adobe After Effects, guys. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I've got a lot more stuff coming and I'll be back soon. Cheers.